Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to round numbers to the nearest tens and to the nearest hundreds. Rounding number is defined by the Cambridge Dictionary as increasing or decreasing to the nearest ones, tens, or hundreds. Over here, I have four examples or four numbers. Two of them I'm going to round to the nearest tens and the other two I'm going to round to the nearest hundreds. Let's work on the first example. The number is 342. Before rounding, we underline the digit in the tens place, which is four. In the digit in the ones place, we compare with five. Compare with five. If it is five or more, we round up. When it is less than five, we round down. Now we see that two is less than five. So, because two is less than five, we round down. When we round down, we decrease 342 to 340. It means we keep four, which is in the tens place, the same and write a zero in place of the digit in the ones place. Now, in the number 538, again, before rounding, we underline the digit in the tens place. And the number which is in the ones place we compare with five. Eight in this case compared with five is more than five. When it is more than five, we round up. When we round up, we increase the underlined digit by ones. So five, which is in the hundreds place, this remains the same. Three, which is in the tens place, is increased by one and it becomes four. And in place of the digit and the ones place, we write a zero. We say that 538 is rounded to 540. 540. When we round numbers to the nearest tens, we consider the number between two tens. Suppose between 20 and 30. If the number is, for example, 27. 20 is on this point, 30 is in this point. 25 lies in between 20 and 30. If this is 25, 27 is somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Now we see that 27 is very close to 30. So we see, we say that 27 is almost 30. Is almost 30. So now we move to the numbers 413 and 464. In this case, we round them to the nearest hundreds. When we round numbers to the nearest hundreds, we underline the digit in the hundreds place and compare the digit in the tens place with five. So in this example, the digit in the tens place is one. When compared with five, we see that one is less than five. When it is less than five, we round down. To round down, we keep for the same and write two zeros in place of one and three, which are in the tens place and ones place. So we say that 413 is close to 400. In 264, in the next example, again, we underline the digit in the hundreds place, which is two, in the digit in the tens place, we compare with five, six and five. In this case, we see that six is more than five. When it is more than five, we round up. When we round up, we increase the underlying digit, in this case, two in the hundreds place by one. When two is increased by one, it becomes three. In the digits, in the tens place, and also in the ones place, we write a zero in place of them. We say that 200 is close to 300. When 
we show it on a number line, 200 is on this end of the number line, and 300 is on this end of the number line. And 250 lies in between. And 264 is somewhere around here. 264. We see that 264 is closer to 300 rather than 200. So we say that 264 is almost 300. This is the logic behind rounding to the nearest tens and to the nearest hundreds. Dear students, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section and I will explain them in the next videos. Have a nice time and thank you so much.